Hello and welcome back to another episode of a weekly waypoint where we are once again in World of Warcraft. That was a lot of W's in that sentence, it was quite fun to say, I do recommend it. So we're back in WoW, this time I've chosen a raid to do which is not going to take me half an hour to complete. Um, and also you'll notice I'm in Feral spec because I was talking about farming old dungeons and somebody said yeah Druid's the best for that because obviously you've got Feral spec and that's much faster than any other spec ever in a game and you'd be an idiot if you were you know, farming old raids in any other spec and I looked at the many years of farming old raids I've been doing in balance spec and I went yeah. Yeah, you'd have to be a real idiot, wouldn't you? So yeah, now I'm a super turbo tree wizard kitty cat form, and it's amazing. Uh, also, it must it is worth noting that uh, the transmog uh, cat form I've gone into here is the hidden artifact appearance cat form, purely because apparently I don't own any other cat forms to transmog into, which isn't true. But as of tomorrow, I will be able to change that to to a cat form that I want to be in. Um, which unfortunately is not the challenge artifact appearance because the only challenge artifact appearance I got was a balanced one. But yes, as I alluded to, pre-patch drops tomorrow. And for those of you who don't play World of Warcraft and you don't know what that is, that means that um, when the new expansion comes out, basically, it's not just new content. Uh, like, you go to a new zone and there's a new story and there's new quests to do and there's all of this new systems to look at and all that. But also there's usually a lot of changes to the base game. Um, and those changes to the base game are free for everyone, um, as they should be. Well, free with, you know, the monthly subscription fee, uh, but other than that, free. <laughs> and um, all of the changes that come with the Shadowlands expansion, you, or any expansion, come out in the pre-patch, usually about three weeks before the expansion actually drops. Now, Shadowlands has been delayed, so it's going to be a longer than three weeks, but that doesn't matter because I've been super excited about the pre-patch for ages because what it basically does, if you haven't heard me ramble about it already, so I'll try and keep this brief, is it um, it revamps leveling so you can just choose one particular expansion to level through from start to finish. Allegedly, apparently there's some pacing issues with some of them, but what I've chosen to do is a live streaming series uh, where I make a character for every expansion and go through and I read all the story in all of those expansions, so I'm super excited to start that up. Keep an eye out on uh, twitch.tv slash critigri, you can follow that channel and you'll see when I'm going live doing that. My idea for those streams is, if you haven't played World of Warcraft before, it's going to be a new player friendly stream, I'm going to be talking about story as we go through it and all of that, I'm uh, going to be explaining how the game works, but also it's not just going to be tutorial of a stream, it is also going to be fun for previous uh, existing WoW players to enjoy as well, so keep an eye out for those streams. Of course, the one time I finally pick up an overtime shift on a weekend is is the same week that pre-patch comes out, so I'm not sure when I'll be able to slot a live stream like that in. I'm sure tomorrow I'll probably just be checking it out myself, but who knows, maybe maybe because there's not questing and stuff to do, they're splitting some of the pre-patch stuff up into two parts this time around. Uh, maybe I will have time to do a live stream after all, or maybe I'll just want to experience it for myself first. Who knows, keep an eye out on Twitter where I will surely be tweeting about that. I should also mention that the goal of this, of me farming this raid, is to try and get a mount which drops from the final boss. I will not spoil whether I got that or not, because otherwise that would make this video partially a moot point. Also, Fangel's Seed Pouch is a toy which drops from this uh, raid, which I've already got, and it basically turns you into a fire cat. The beauty of the pre-patch uh, as well is that you're going to be able to choose your various uh, animal forms and appearances at the barbershop so it's not going to be a transmog thing anymore uh, so I'll be able to choose between many different cat appearances including this one they said the fire cat will be available to choose if you so wish which I probably won't because there's some really good artifact cat appearances but I can choose my glowy bear from the balance of power quest line that I did so I'm definitely going to be doing that so that's cool um, Basically I'm just extremely excited about pre-patch, but I'm aware that people may watch these weekly waypoints who do not play World of Warcraft and have no idea what I'm talking about, so rather than rambling about World of Warcraft for an entire video, I'm just going to leave it at half the video and talk about something else for a bit. Also I just realised I'm very sorry I have my headphones next to my mic, they're not on my head so I couldn't tell sound was coming out of them. If the game audio was echoing slightly it's because I forgot to mute that track. Amateur hour over here. What is this? Weekly deathmatch number two. And yes, I meant to say weekly deathmatch because that's what the series was called back then, don't at me. Finished watching season two of The Boys, got my thoughts on, on that up. Been continuing to watch Avatar Legend of Korra, also got thoughts on, on that up, so there's no point talking about that here. Just wanted to mention that. Um, the, the only other thing I've really been watching is just Game Grumps constantly. 
just loads and loads of game crumps. I've been watching them play Super Mario Galaxy 2, I've been watching them play through Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, I've been basically watching that playthrough as like a playlist now that it's finished. Um, I've been watching them play some of Hollow Knight, um, and also I've been watching Aaron's other channel thing, Shuffle Master, where he opens packs of cards, which is definitely not something you should watch if you're prone to buying packs of cards, because it will definitely make you want to buy packs of cards. But I'm not prone to that kind of thing, disregard the past week where I've been saying, hey, I kind of want some Pokemon cards now. Definitely, definitely not being influenced by an influence there in any meaningful way, don't, don't at me. We are one month away from the arrival of the Xbox Series X, or in my case, the Series S, which is hopefully just as exciting. Um, everyone's been going on about the Series X so much, I've been like, hmm, but at the same time, like... Hello, man. Like, I don't need 4K, and that's pretty much uh, as far as I've been led to understand. The Series X's superior specs uh, pretty much are only there for the use of 4K, and that does have some knock-on effects. For instance, backwards compatibility runs better on Series X just because it has that uh, extra hardware. Um, but you know, I don't really need a Series X now, do I? Even if I did, it's too late now, bitch! And I'm sure they'll offer me some kind of fucking bullshit upgrade path at the end of my two years of the Series S all-access pass thing. Just getting slight FOMO vibes from all the people like, Wow, here's a preview of the Series X! And I'm like, what about the Series S, guys? That needs some love too. But I totally understand why the marketing would be behind the Series X, because it is the main console and the whole next-gen push thing. But yeah, I've been getting really excited for that, so... um, Like specifically for Game Pass and um, because obviously the all access thing comes with two years of Game Pass Ultimate um, which also includes by the way something I've not talked about much, Games with Gold which you know I don't know how good that is but that's basically Playstation Plus free games a month kind of deal um, and which I'll be including in my monthly blog posts as well and it also includes the new cloud streaming service they're doing which you can play on a phone if you've got an Android phone and behold look at me I've got a Google Pixel 2 so I should be able to do that although I'm not sure how how much I'll enjoy that about a physical controller um, to link up to my phone, but hey, you can't win them all. I'll definitely test it out though and post some thoughts on it, um, but those thoughts are probably going to be riddled with I had to use the on-screen controls and I hate touchscreen controls so I didn't really enjoy it very much. I think some of the games I'm most excited to play on my Xbox Series S, and you'll laugh uh, because they're all games that already exist. Um, but Forza Horizon 4, because I love that game, but it runs like shit on my PC. It literally drops frames like every 10 seconds. And when I say drop frames, I mean it literally like hard stutters. Um, so that's not much fun. So I'm excited to play that on a natural reliable piece of hardware. Uh, I know it's currently not compatible, backwards compatible, according to people who tested the preview builds, but apparently they are working on like an optimized version for Series S and X. So um, hopefully that's ready by launch or sometime soon after. Also, I'm very excited to play Fable Anniversary, which is something I dabbled with before I refunded it a while back, just because I didn't really have the money for it. This was years ago now. Um, I'm excited to play Ori and the Blind Forest. Uh, I'm excited to play a whole bunch of things. Oh, Forza Motorsport 7, that's just been added to Game Pass. Uh, stuff like that. But during all of this hype, I was like, ah oh, man, I wish I had it now, which is how hype works. Um, I remembered I do have a year of PlayStation now, but I shouldn't really neglect, even though I think I, it was only 35 quid. I think I've already got my money's worth out of it, to be honest, so I don't feel too bad about forgetting about it. Um, but I was like, hey, I should play some more PlayStation Now games, and I really just wanted to play like a little indie game. I wanted to play a racing game and I wanted to play a little indie game, um, which reminds me of another game I'm excited to play on Game Pass is Hotshot Racing, which is a new racing indie game which came out recently. Anyway, uh, I decided to play Super Toy Cars, which I think I might have already played on my mobile before. I know it's a port of a mobile game. Um, and I was just like, sure, why not? Download it, play it. And it's not a great game, but I got surprisingly hooked on it. I played it for like three hours straight um, and I got almost all the trophies on it. It hasn't got a platinum trophy, so I'm not sure I can go be bothered to go back and 100% it, uh, but I'm almost there. I just need to... Uh, I think the most annoying looking trophy out of them is I need to have spent 10 minutes in the air across total playtime, uh, and I've basically uh, completed the game already, but my stats say I've only got 5.5 minutes of airtime, so I don't know if I just need to go to a, a race with a big old ramp and keep throwing myself off the map to try and boost that somehow. Uh, or if I, it would just be a waste of time, and I don't really need to 100% the game, but I don't even like that much, but I don't know, that's where my brain's at, that's what I've been doing with my week. Ooh, we're here, we're here at the Ragnaros fight. 
it's definitely not buggy when you go and solo it. Don't you worry about the things which are about to take place. Your real question, uh, which should be on your lips right now, is, is Christian about to get the smouldering egg of Milgazor? I think that's how you pronounce it. Or maybe it's Milgazor, or it's something like that. It's basically a giant firebird. Um, and I want it. There is another smaller firebird, a ground mount, which drops in this raid. Yeah, he popped back up. That was a bit weird. He's not really supposed to do that when he's dead. And whoop, there he goes. <laughs> uh, that's happened to me before. Um, but, uh, yeah, I did not get them out, sadly. Um, very sad times indeed. I just want a big firebird, which would be great to use on a fire mage. Um, I like to have mounts associated with every single one of my characters, like main mounts and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, uh, this edition of the Weekly Waypoint. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed you.